If you look at places where they had mask mandates right next door to places where they didn't, same rates of transmission, same curve, same everything. But masks work so well, they, they tell us. If it doesn't show that in the data, it's because people were wearing masks even when they weren't mandated, or they were not wearing masks even when they were, or whatever. They just come up with some excuse for it. My co-host on radio, which you can always check out 12 to 3 on, uh, well, pretty much most stations across the country, uh, our, our, my co-host Clay Travis went to his local school district, for his children, of course, in the uh, Nashville, Tennessee area. He got fired up. Here's what he said. Let's talk about risk analysis, which is the key. I feel bad for all these people walking around in masks, engaging in cosmetic theater, thinking that they are making a difference against COVID. They aren't. Here's the truth. Our kids, under 25-year-old, one in a million chance that they are going to die of COVID. They are more likely to be struck by lightning. They are more likely to be struck by lightning. They are more likely to die of the seasonal flu. Have any of you ever mandated masks for the seasonal flu? Well, shame on you because every kid in Williamson County schools has been under more danger from the seasonal flu every year than they are for COVID. I would tell every parent here, don't let your kids um, wear masks. <laughs> I love the uh, standing ovation at the end there for my uh, co-host, Clay. Yeah, look, he's, he's nailing it, right? He knows exactly what's going on. We know exactly what's going on. The mask madness needs to stop. This has become about safetyism and theatrics. This is about people feeling like they were right and they're doing the stuff they need to do. Um, some people take it even further than that. They get really crazy saying that if kids don't wear masks at school, well, here's an Oklahoma school board member explaining thoughts on masks and children. Because it's just not okay for kids to commit murder by coming to school without a mask. And when it comes down to it, it's possible. They will, ch they will cause a death of another child because they come to school without a mask. Cause a death of another child. It's about murdering kids. Kids are murdering other kids if they don't wear masks, which don't actually even stop COVID, but who cares? They're just going to say it anyway. Oh, no, oh, you're probably saying, Buck, come on, you can't say that about masks. You're not allowed to say that about masks. Well, Senator Rand Paul, who's a medical doctor, he was recently kicked off of YouTube for saying that masks don't work. We actually know this now. We've tried this. Now, are there circumstances in which a perfectly fitted N95 mask in a clinical setting where you do not take it off the entire time you may be exposed to COVID, could that perhaps, yeah, that might help in the reduction of transmission. A loosely draped piece of, uh, piece of cloth over your face, you're breathing in, breathing out, breathing in air from all over the place. No, no, but you don't have to take my word for it. Here's actually the head of Biden's COVID advisory board saying on CNN, what should be obvious to everyone now, which is that cloth masks don't do a damn thing. We know today that many of the face cloth coverings that people wear are not very effective in reducing any of the virus movement in or out. Either you're breathing out or you're breathing in. And in fact, if you're in the upper Midwest right now, anybody who's wearing their face cloth covering can tell you they can smell all the smoke that we're still getting. We need to talk about better masking. We need to talk about N95 respirators, which would do a lot for both people who are not yet uh, vaccinated or not previously infected, protecting them, as well as keeping others who might become infected, having been vaccinated from, from breathing out the virus. Yeah. N95 masks now, they say. They also said that about eight months ago, right? We see that when there's a surge, masks don't do anything. The cloth masks don't do anything. So then instead of just realizing our mask policy is stupid, we should have never done that in the first place, they turn around and say, oh, we just need better masks or double masks. By the way, double masks also, cloth masks doesn't actually work either, but they like to pretend. So what can we do here? Well, there's pushback at school board meetings, thankfully, so that will help maybe a little bit. We need political leadership, though people in positions of authority to at least say this is a choice. That school districts can't just say every single child has to mask. You wanna send your kid to school and engage in theatrical COVID nonsense child abuse. Okay, maybe that's your call as a parent, right? But all kids shouldn't be made to do it by the school district, by the government in essence. And here's what the governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis says about that. We think it's ultimately the parents' decision. We think that this is something that intimately affects the health and well-being of 
young kids. There was a study done uh, by Emily Oster at Brown University, looked at New York, Massachusetts, and Florida. They found no correlation to force masking and differences in cases. Uh, but you also have a situation where a lot of parents have, have come. They've come to me. They've come to the school boards and said, this has been very difficult on their young kids uh, to have to sit there for eight hours uh, with this. It's not natural. It's never been studied what the effects of that are. You know, NIH has a $42 billion budget. They've not spent a single penny since COVID started studying uh, how these mitigations affect uh, kids. Not a single penny. Isn't that so interesting? But instead of engaging with this, not just argument, but data that shows the mask madness is an absurdity, you have now the federal government weighing in, Biden saying that he is considering executive action to overturn states' mask mandate bans. This is from the New York Post. President Biden said Tuesday his administration is examining whether he can order universal masking in public schools, overriding Republican governors in states like Florida and Texas. I don't believe I, uh, that I do thus far, Biden told reporters in an uh, event in the East Room of the White House. We're checking on that, trying to figure out if they can come up with some way to pretend they think there's a real legal federal avenue here. But there isn't. 